Henkel AG and Company. GAE is a manufacturing company making various chemical products including detergents and adhesives, with brands and technologies for consumer and industrial businesses, headquartered in Darwin Quarter Seldorf. In 2011, Henkel reinforced its position in the emerging markets, where 42% of its sales are generated and 54% of its people employed. Business Areas The Henkel company operates in three business areas, laundry and home care with household cleaning products such as laundry detergent and dishwashing liquid, beauty care with beauty and oral care products such as shampoo, toothpaste, hair colorants and shower products, and, adhesive technologies with adhesives sealants and surface treatments for consumer and industrial purposes. Brands Laundry and home care, Henkel's most famous brand is Persil, introduced in 1907, the first commercial self-activated laundry detergent, which means a bubbles forming bleach with a soap component. The abbreviation of the names of the two main components perborate and silicate composed the product name. Other laundry and home care brands include Purex Washing Powder, Vernal Silin Fabric Softener, Somat Gliss Dishwasher Tablets and Prill Washing Up Liquid. Persil Abash Shampoo or Persil Black is a liquid detergent that Henkel Company introduced to the Saudi Arabia markets in 2007 and later to the rest of the Persian Gulf Cooperation Council markets. Henkel markets this liquid as a detergent specialized for black abanas. An abaya is the loose robe-like garment worn by women in many Islamic cultures. It is traditionally black. Beauty care, Schwarzkopf hair care, Shawma shampoo, far shower gel and deodorant, diadem in skin and body care, dial shower and hand soap. The cosmetics company Hans Schwarzkopf GmbH was acquired by Henkel in 1985. Adhesive technologies, Loctite and Unibond adhesives and sealants, prick glue sticks polysame seal cork, and plastic padding chemicals. History The company was founded in 1876 in Arkin as Henkel and C. by Fritz Henkel and two more partners. They marketed his first product, Universal Wash Metal, a universal detergent based on silicate. In 1878, to take advantage of the better transport links and sales opportunities, Henkel relocated his company to Darwin Quarter Seldorf on the Rhine. Dar one quarter Seldorf was the gateway to the Ruhr region, which became the most important industrial area of the German Empire from the 19th century onward. That year, the first German brand named detergent appeared, Henkel's Bleach Soda, Bleaching Soda, an affordably priced product supplied in sturdy paper bags. Made from water glass and soda, it was the result of Fritz Henkel's own research. The soda was obtained from Aetz and Weber in Duisburg. In 1879, Fritz Henkel was entered as the sole owner in the register of companies. Sales of Henkel's bleaching soda increased so rapidly that within just one year the rented factory on the Schuh one quarter Zinstrau and R one quarter Seldorf was unable to meet the demand. Fritz Henkel decided to build his own factory with a railway link. In 1883, to improve liquidity and make better use of the company's traveling sales staff, Fritz Henkel decided to sell merchandise in addition to his detergents. Sales started in 1884. The range included the colorant ultramarine, laundry bluing agent, gloss starch, a liquid cleaning agent, a pomade for cleaning, beef extract, and a hair pomade. Very soon Henkel developed its international presence C Euro in 1886. Henkel opened its first international sales office in Austria. Karl Paith had gone to Vienna as a representative the year before. In 1893, Henkel established its first business links with England and Italy. In 1903, Schwarzkopf founded by Hans Schwarzkopf launched a powder shampoo. Persil came in 1907 as the first de Euro OE self-acting laundry detergent a Euro. Henkel has been a family-run business since the beginning. In 1893, Fritz Henkel, Jr. joined the firm as an apprentice. After receiving commercial training he became his father's right-hand man in commercial matters. He put Henkel's brand name product business on a sound footing, developed its already successful advertising still further and was responsible for the company's field service. On July 25, 1904, he became a partner in Henkel, 
which was transformed into a general commercial partnership. By this time, 110 people were employed at the Hold Halls in sight. On April 25, 1905, Dr. Hugo Henkel, the youngest son of Fritz Henkel, Sr., joined the company as a chemist. He was in charge of chemical products and technology. Over the years, he laid the foundations of systematic research and introduced advanced technologies and new raw materials. In 1908, he became a personally liable partner in the company. In 1912, total production in Dar one quarter sold off Holdhors and rose to 49,890 tons. At 19,750 tons, Purcell laundry detergent accounted for 40% of this, just five years after its market launch. The number of employees increased by 89 relative to the previous year, resulting in a total workforce of 1,024. Around half were female. A first aid center was set up in the plant and a full-time nurse was employed. In the previous year Henkel had installed ball fields and play areas to encourage exercise during break times. Female employees could attend the plant's own housekeeping school during the lunch break. On January 11, 1923, troops from France and Belgium occupied the Rhineland. The occupation made delivery of adhesives from suppliers used for the packaging of Purcell unreliable. The disruption caused Henkel to internally manufacture adhesives for its own needs. Henkel found there was a demand for adhesives on the market, and on June 22, 1923, the first adhesive shipment left the plant. During World War II, foreign civilian slavery workers and prisoners of war were working for the company. Henkel was part of a large-scale restitution settlement. On April 16, 1945, American troops occupied Henkel's Dar one quarter Seldorf site. On June 5, the British military command in Dar one quarter Seldorf took over from the Americans. From July 20, the British military government gradually granted permission for the production of adhesives, P3 and water glass by Henkel, and for soaps and detergents as well as shoe polish by Thompson. In February 1946, Mates and Weber in Duisburg was given permission to process available raw materials into soda. On September 20, 1945, five members of the Henkel family and another seven members of the management board and the supervisory board were interned. In 1949, the launch of Schorma shampoo by Schwarzkopf marked the start of the most successful German shampoos. In 1954, Henkel's subsidiary Dreyering launched Far Soap, a new type of toilet soap. From 1970 onward it was joined by a series of Far deodorants, shower gels and bubble baths, making Far one of the best-known umbrella brands in the toiletry sector. Pratt, the world's first glue stick, made its debut in 1969. Over the years, other products were introduced under this brand, underlining Henkel's importance in the office and stationery supply sector. Exports of Pritt began in the same year, eventually making this Henkel's most widespread global brand. Vernal fabric softener and enzyme-based bioactive Purcell 70 appeared. Starting in the 1960s, Henkel has combined organic growth with strategic company acquisitions, in 1960. By acquiring Standard Chemical Products, Inc., Henkel entered the U.S. chemical products market. In 1962, Henkel acquired Sickleworker AG, Hanover, its main German competitor in the adhesive sector. In 1974, Henkel acquired shares in the Clorox Company, USA, to facilitate the production and sale of certain products developed by Henkel for household and bulk consumers. In 1983, Henkel acquired the AOK facial care range from the company von Heiden GmbH and thus strengthened its position in the cosmetics retail trade. In 1984, Tirazon of Heidelberg was acquired and integrated into Henkel's adhesives and surface technologies business sectors. Cosmetics company Hans Schwarzkopf GmbH was acquired by Henkel in 1995. In 1996, Henkel acquired Thiam Automotive a division of National Starch and Chemical Company. The acquisition included a manufacturing plant in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Later it purchased Loctite in 1997. 
the purchase of the Dial Corporation in 2004 was the biggest acquisition in the history of the company until then. This renowned U.S. personal care and household cleaning products company gave Henkel a strong foothold on the North American market. In 2004, Henkel also acquired the American cosmetics company Advanced Research Laboratories, that has developed and marketed hair cosmetics. Also in 2004, Henkel acquired Orbzeal. The former Orbzeal plant in Richmond, Missouri was converted to a Henkel plant. In April 2008, Henkel has taken over from Actso Nobel the adhesives and electronic materials businesses previously owned by National Starch. In 2007, these two business segments of National Starch generated sales of a £1.25 billion. The purchase price was a £2.7 billion. On May 5, 2011, Javi Laboratories bought 50.97% stake in Henkel India. It has offered to buy 20% more in Henkel India through a compulsory open offer mandated by SEBI norms. In 2008, Henkel GAE became Henkel AG and Company. GAE. That same year, Professor Dr. Ulrich Lehner retired from his position as chairman of the management board of Henkel GAE. He was succeeded by Kaspar Ersted. In September 2009, Dr. Simone Bagel Tra was elected as new chairwoman by the Henkel shareholders a Euro Unregistered Trademark Committee as well as he and Keller Euro Unregistered Trademark S Supervisory Board. The retirement of Albrecht Wollest marked the transition from the fourth generation of the Henkel family to the fifth. In 2010, Henkel defined a new corporate vision, a Euro OEA global leader in brands and technologies a Euro. In order to implement them into the Campania Euro Unregistered Trademark S working environment, the five values a Euro O customers a Euro, a Euro O E for plea Euro, a Euro O of financial performance a Euro, a Euro O E sustainability a Euro and a Euro O F a mile a Euro were discussed by all employees in around 5,000 workshops. In 2011, Henkel introduced its new corporate design combined with the launch of its new claim a Euro OE Henkel a Euro Excellence is our passion a Euro. I. Sustainability, in its company history, Henkel emphasizes the importance of sustainable development. In 1958, for instance, he and Keller Euro Unregistered Trademark S research systematically studied washing active substances in surface waters, which led to the development of low foam surfactants. Henkel was thus prepared for the German Detergents Act of 1961 passed in response to the mountains of foam on rivers and lakes. It permitted only readily biodegradable detergents to be used from 1964 onward. As early as 1992, Henkel published its first environment report. Henkel is also a founding member of the A Euro OE World Business Council for Sustainable Development a Euro. In 2003, Henkel declared its participation in the United Nations Global Compact and has committed itself to the Compact Euro Unregistered Trademark S10 principles in the areas of human rights, labor, environment and anti-corruption. Since 2008, Henkel is an official member of the A Euro OE Roundtable for Sustainable Palm Oil a Euro. In 2008, the company announced its sustainability targets for 2012, which were met by the end of 2010. Energy consumption had decreased by 21%, water usage by 26%, and the amount of waste generated by 24%. Over the same period, the number of occupational accidents fell by 29%. Presented in 2012, the goal of Hien Keller Euro Unregistered Trademark as New Sustainability Strategy 2030 is to achieve more with less and to triple the efficiency. The Strategia Euro Unregistered Trademark S focal areas are divided into two dimensions, under the headline a Euro OE more value a Euro, the company focuses on the areas a Euro OE social progress a Euro, a Euro OE safety and health a Euro and a Euro OE performance a Euro. The second dimension a Euro OE reduced footprint a Euro deals with a Euro OE energy and climate a Euro, a Euro OE materials and waste a Euro and a Euro OE waste and waste water a Euro. As a short-term goal until 2015, Henkel aims to achieve a 15% reduction per production unit in the focal areas energy, water and waste. At the same time, 
the company plans to reach a 10% increase in net external sales per production unit. Henkel also intends to reduce its incident rate by 20%. Henkel has been listed in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index ever since it was established in 1999. In 2011, the company was named sustainability leader in the non-durable household product sector for the fifth consecutive time. Henkel has structured its corporate citizenship activities around three core elements, supporting employee volunteering, corporate and brand engagement for the common good and emergency aid. Since 1998, more than 4,000 Henkel employees and retirees have been involved in over 9,700 projects in more than 50 different countries. Social partnership, Henkel is a part of the corporate and brand engagement. This is a social partnership that supports communities around the world along with social and public institutions. These include sports, clubs, hospitals, kindergartens, schools and universities, charity organizations and cultural events. Henkel supports long-term projects of engagement, social needs, education and science, fitness and health, arts and culture as well as it supports the environment. Henkel Art Award in 2002, Henkel CE launched the Henkel Art Award a Euro a prize for art in 30 countries in Central Eastern Europe and Central Asia. In addition to the monetary prize and presentation of the works of art in Vienna, an exhibition is also organized for the winner in his or her homeland. Henkel Innovation Challenge In 2007, Henkel organized a Students' Innovative Ideas competition. Teams of two should propose a product with a focus on sustainability, creativeness and future perspective, to foresee the possible needs for year 2030 or 2050. The contest was focused on beauty products initially, but later was bribed into all three main branches of activity. Competitors, Henkel's main competitors in its cleaning division are Unilever, Procter & Gamble and Rekkite Benkisa. In its beauty division, its main competitors are Unilever, Procter & Gamble and Lura Copyright Al. In its chemical and adhesive division, it has many competitors, but the main multinational competitors are Bostick and H.B. Fuller. See also Cognice, notes, in an agreement with Unilever, the Purcell brand is only used by Henkel in mainland Europe, while Unilever only uses the brand in the UK, Ireland, Oceania and other markets. References External links Official website, Henkel Social Partnerships